different set of ages and three adult females. But the whole pride comprises of five adult females, which we suspect the other two females gone somewhere to give birth because the, the last time we saw them they were pregnant. And we have the two big boys, um, Lol Pakit and Lol Barnotti, okay. which have now three prides in the, in the conservancy. So that the main dominant boys within the conservancy, they own three prides now. They just acquired a, a small pride now of the breakaway females from the Nkwayane pride. So now they've got Nkwayane sub-adult pride and the Siketa and the Monico prides. Okay. And this pride has a sub-adult group, um, which we're just trying to find before we bump on 10th, about nine of them, okay. four boys and four or five girls. So you have a whole lot of lions in, yeah. uh, in Ola Motorogi Conservancy. Yeah, Just for our viewers, uh, we're in Ola Motorogi Conserv uh, Conservancy. We're being hosted by Sir Richard Branson's Kenya Safari Camp, or also known as Mahali Missouri. Mm -hmm. And this broadcast is uh, brought to you by Make It Kenya. Um, and join us. Uh, welcome, welcome to the broadcast. I'm here with uh, Vincent, our guide. Thanks for having us. We know you're a busy man and you, you're guiding all sorts of famous people. So we're very humbled to be with you today. You're welcome. And um, I'm not an IT guy, but I managed to connect here somehow. And uh, uh, Stuart over there is, is handling the phone. The rest of our team are, are back uh, trying to, to get last night's videos out. So uh, we, we really have a whole lot of work to do. And uh, Stuart, you doubling up as, as uh, tech support and so <laughs> forth, and I'm not used to iPhones, and, and it's a little bit of a mess, but we managed to connect. And um, it's wonderful being here. You know, we started in Ola Motorogi. We bumped into each other uh, four or five days ago, and we, we, we shared some cheetah and malaika jumping over streams and so forth. So it's good that we're finally here with you. Um, and uh, wonderful to bump into more lines. I mean, it's incredible, you know, we, on f in four days uh, in the conservancies, you know, we've gone on night drives and we, we're going to stay out tonight and, and see what we can find and some interaction and maybe bump into one or two predators. Um, and uh, sure, guys, uh, this is Kenya Life, brought to you by Make It Kenya. And I think we're gonna. Uh, we actually had a sub adult in this uh, in this tree right in front of us. And in my kind of clumsiness to connect, uh, the sub adult came down. But why do they climb climb trees? Um, once sometimes when it gets really hot, they it's breezy up on the top of the trees. And at the moment we've got lots of flies. Yeah, so flies. Stuart can tell us a little bit more why mm -hmm. they climb trees. Did you <laughs> did you get a little tessie fly bite there on your shoulder, Stuart? Yes, one or two across the shoulder and the back. They're uh, pretty painful. So they're trying to escape flies. Yeah, so you trees. you weren't uh, wearing your your herd tracker shirt at the time, were you, Stuart? I wasn't. No, uh, foolish me. It's now on, and uh, I am um, well tessie free. Shall we tessie say tessie free? Yeah. Okay, I think uh, we're not gonna we're gonna um, stay a little bit with the sprite and see if they uh, get back in the tree, which is highly unlikely. And um, and after that, we're gonna go look for for what? Fig. For Fig the leopard, the famous leopard in this area. Uh, we've heard she's not out and about. Maybe she's still a bit lazy, but uh, it's more or less almost time, huh, for yeah. to for her to either get thirsty or hungry. Yeah, of course. And Fig is with the cub now. How old is their cub? I suppose have a year now. Every year, so she must be almost uh, yeah. kind of uh, high enough, uh, yeah. almost like uh, high. You know, most cats are reach full grown height after yeah. a year, so she will probably just bulk up over the next mm -hmm. couple of years. Nice boy. Okay, so we're gonna um, we'll join join us later on Kenya Life, brought to you by Make It Kenya.